I'm with Leon Pellman, Head of Digital Financial Services Policy Observatory at Columbia University Business School. And Leon has flown in from New York to be with us in Geneva and has a, a very long title, which I understand is, is going to be uh, changed perhaps over the next few weeks. A brand new job for you. You're also, uh, since last year, the co-chair of one of the working groups uh, within the focus group of uh, DFS, Technology, Innovation and Competition, to be precise. So first of all, if we could break down those three areas, Technology, Innovation and Competition, what are the main things that you're looking at within those areas? Well, our working group uh, looks at ventilating a number of trends um, in technology and innovation and competition revolving around digital financial services. Uh, essentially, what we, we're trying to do is ventilate so that we can enhance financial inclusion. So within the, within the working group, uh, we have a number of work streams. Uh, we look at uh, identity and authentication, so biometric um, verification of a person's um, identity, if they're doing cash in, cash out, also for anti-money laundering purposes, uh, for security purposes, so that any transactions they do over platforms are secure, both at the at the platform level and at the uh, the, the, the the handset level. Um, we look at the handsets themselves to see what feature sets are being um, provided by, by vendors. Uh, those have evolved from basic feature phones uh, to smartphones, and each market is different. Um, so we're seeing what the trends are within each market so that providers can, can provide the correct level of service for the type of technology that, the, um, that, that customers uh, um, currently have. Um, we look at big data. Um, and that is essentially all the data points that a provider might um, might accumulate about a person, and that those data sets would allow them to say create a credit profile where uh, credit scoring doesn't exist in a particular market. And then lastly, we look at competition issues, both from an enabling environment uh, that uh, um, where market might not uh, the regulator might not allow a, a certain number of entities to participate in the market, and also um, fair and equitable access to, to platforms by those with, say, significant market power. Big data, technology, these are areas which are changing at an incredibly uh, fast rate, some would say exponential rates. Yes. You've been going for a year, and I'd imagine part of the difficulty of your, of your job and those of the people who are on your working group is keeping up with technology. Is that the case? Absolutely. Um, I mean, it's glacial in a sense, um, and they are, 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 are big steps, but, um, and small steps. Um, one of the big steps we've seen is in the evolution of the, what's called the blockchain, which is associated with Bitcoin. And um, there's the whole lot of consortiums that have been created in the past, uh, past 12 months which our, our working group uh, looks at, and certainly that might be adopted in a number of, of, uh, of developing um, markets. Um, and, and the vendors have also provided feature sets um, in, the, in the past year that, that were not there before. So all those trends we, we, we observe and comment on, and uh, essentially that's going to go in our final report. And you're here to take stock of, of uh, the progress made since last year. Could you give, give me some idea of what progress has actually been made? In, within the working group, we, it's still a work in progress. Um, we've looked at the security aspects in quite, quite a lot of depth. We, on the big data, we're producing principles for ethical accumulation and use uh, of, of, of data, customer data. So that it's not abused for um, for whatever purpose, so that uh, folks can be um, safe in the, in the in the provision of their data. Um, then on the vendor platforms, um, we've we've accumulated data or a heat map, if you will, of those trends. Uh, handsets. What we've looked at is which handsets are being. Um, uh, rolled out across various markets, and very interesting statistics that are coming out of that. Uh, and we've produced a couple of competition um, reports, and there's still more coming. Um, 
and, and generally getting a sense of, of the evolution of uh, technology. And looking forward, uh, what do you think will be the main priorities for your working group? Uh, I think to, to finish up on our deliverables, <laughs> uh, we, uh, it, it is, as you pointed out, is, is work in progress. Uh, things do change, so we're constantly reevaluating the, the, the data. Um, but essentially, we'd, we'd like to provide some guidance and recommendations at the end of the um, focus group process. Any, uh, any idea how long that's going to take? Well, the, the focus group's term of reference ends at the end of 2016. Mm. Uh, we'd like to obviously do, do a lot within that time, but certainly deliver within the, the focus group's period. The bottom line, wh what difference do you think that the work that your group is doing is going to make? Well, right now, um, in the DFS ecosystem, if you will, uh, there's a lot done uh, in silos. So what this focus group does, which I'm, I'm very pleased to observe, is it's a really collegial effort. Uh, and where you've got a number of people from industry, from uh, regulators, from standard setting bodies, uh, academics, analysts, and the like that have come together. And this is the only real entity that, that, that has those, all those people within it. Because your work touches technology. On all of it. It touches it's on everything. It's like an octopus. It's, it's, it's everywhere. It touches on, 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 on all these aspects. Um, and this is a one-stop shop, I think, for this collegial effort to provide guidance and information for anybody that needs to make decisions, long-term decisions about this industry, uh, be that donors, industries, regulators, analysts. Um, so I think the collegial effort is, a, is, is firstly the, 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 the first win, if you will, uh, and secondly the, the, the guidelines and the like that we're going to produce are certainly something that everybody's wanted and, and expecting. Leon Perlman, thank you very much uh, for being with us here today and I wish you a, a fruitful session this week in Geneva. Thank you very much.